Good morning, Chargers. I'm Melissa Arkenbright. And I'm Gabby Powers. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP, DP News. News. If you haven't taken your picture yet or would like to retake your current one, the next opportunity to do so is this Friday, September 16th. The photographers will be in the cafeteria from 7.30 to 1 p.m. The Good Food Club meets tomorrow at lunch in M3. Also, the Women in Technology Club meets today at lunch in room T10. Art Club meets on Wednesdays in the ceramics room, A6 during lunch. Everyone welcome. A few colleges are coming to visit next week. Washington University of St. Louis, USC, and Pomona College are some of the colleges participating. If you would like to learn more about these colleges, pick up a pass inside the Career Center beforehand and have your teacher sign it at least one day before the scheduled day of the college visit. For specific date and time information and more, stop by the Career Center. Since the first student senate is today, senators will get a call slip during third period asking them to check with their period four teachers and then report directly to senate. Period four teachers, please make sure that you have a senate rep and an alternate in case the elected senator is not available. Gabby, what do nosy peppers do? I don't know, what do they do? They get jalapeno business. Oh, <laughs> that's all for your campus news chargers. Now over to Caleb with your sports report. Good morning, Chargers. It's Caleb Stevenson here with your sports report. Girls Tennis traveled to San Inez for their third away match this season. The Chargers came away with a 13-5 win. The girls played efficiently and were welcomed by a very hospitable pirate crowd. Michaela Triplett and Katie Yang led the way as they both swept singles. The team continues to improve every day, so look for good things from tennis this season. Girls Golf had a successful Monday as they claimed back-to-back -back titles at the Simi Valley Tournament. The depth of this team is what allowed them to pick up the win. The girls felt like individually they could have scored better, but it was the team effort that propelled them to victory. Bella Vigna led the way with a 76, and Gabby Minier followed with a 78. Julia Forrester contributed an 84, and Hannah Cho added a 90. In case you hadn't noticed, girls golf is really, really good and tends to win all the time, so expect more great things from them. Monday at lunch, Coach Mendoza took three of his top football players to the Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable press luncheon. Senior Kellen Roberts, Senior Eric or Blake Irwin and my boy Eric Nisich represented our student athletes at this local event. Girls golf takes on Rio Mesa today at three. Girls volleyball has a huge match tonight at home against SM, so make sure to come out and support. Girls golf also takes on Ventura Wednesday and cross country has their first league match. Girls tennis takes on Ventura at home on Thursday. That's all for today. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. What's up? The sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, why did the scarecrow get promoted? I don't know. Why did the scarecrow get promoted? He was outstanding in his field. Ha! Good one, Lindsay. Today's temperatures will be a high of 68 degrees and a low of 60 degrees with 78% humidity, along with 5 mile per hour winds. Tomorrow's temperatures will be a high of 71 degrees and a low of 54 degrees with a 68% humidity, along with 13 mile per hour winds. The surf for today will be a high of 5.7 feet and a low of 2 feet. And tomorrow's surf will have a high of 5.9 and a low of 0. And that, so make sure to go and surf those big ones and shred the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have a rad day. day. 